We stand as one. It's one Baltimore, and we're going to stand together. In front of Baltimore City Hall, immigrants, faith, and community leaders stood united and said they'll fight back against President Donald Trump's immigration policies. City lawmakers are reaffirming that Baltimore is what they call a welcoming city. We will not, in our city, help ICE in any way. It's one of the reasons that our police department in Baltimore in the last week uh, issued a policy that says our police officers are not going to check on the status of citizens. That policy also states that Baltimore police will not enforce administrative warrants used by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement to arrest non-citizens who have committed immigration violations. In a statement, Andy Harris, Maryland's only Republican in Congress, said, I support our men and women of law enforcement who will be enforcing our immigration laws this weekend. No one who has not violated our immigration laws should be worried. This administration wants to criminalize people who are guilty of nothing more than wanting a better life for their children and their loved ones. It's most important. I come here to bring this message to you that we in the Latinx community, we are not drug dealers. We are not criminals. We are fighters. We have dreams just like you. We dream to own our home. We dream to go to university. We dream to bring our family stability. Protesters marched in downtown Baltimore to spread their message. They're calling for an end to the detention of children and families ahead of ICE raids planned for this weekend. If it's a crime to feed my family and to uh, have a better uh, future for them, then that should be a crime, but it's not a crime for me. Y yo creo que todos ustedes son criminales también, porque están trabajando para su familia, and para sus hijos. If, we're all criminal, if, we, if I'm a criminal, then you're all criminals because you're all working to fight for your families, the well-being of your families. In a statement, Mayor Jack Young said the attempts of the president and his administration to deprive immigrants of their rights and to tear apart families are unacceptable. And I will continue to welcome immigrants to Baltimore with open arms and serve our newest Americans in the same way I serve every Baltimorean. We're live tonight outside City Hall. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Vanessa, thank you. And meanwhile, in Baltimore County, protesters gathered outside of Patriot Plaza to demonstrate against the conditions at detention centers along the U.S.-Mexico border. Many who showed up to the Lights for Liberty demonstration said they believe the treatment of migrants along the southern border is inhumane. This is our voice. This is not America. This is not how we act. This is not who we are. This has got to stop. Organizers say they hope this demonstration will encourage people to vocalize their concerns to help change conditions.